We're in the collection spaces here at the Natural History Museum to talk about butterflies and moths. Now, Alessandro, this specimen you've brought out here, is this a butterfly or a moth? Well, Camilla, many people would be surprised to learn that this is a butterfly. See, now, I definitely would have guessed that this was a moth. Well, that's an assumption a lot of people made to think about butterflies being colourful and gaudy while moths are boring and brown. But let me show you this. This is a small selection of moths from our extensive collections. So these are all moths here in the straw? Yes, they're all moths. OK, so clearly there are many species of moths that are just as bright and beautiful as butterflies. Mm. So then what do scientists actually look for to see the difference between a butterfly and a moth? Well, first of all, we have to remember the butterfly and moths, they all belong to the same group of insects called Lepidoptera. But if you want a character to start, perhaps looking at the antenna would be a good point to start. Uh, many moths will have feathery antennae, like this one, uh, or thread-like antennae, like this one, while many butterflies, like um, the ones in this tray, will have clubbed antennae or um, with a swollen tip, okay. like the peacock here. Well, I certainly learned that butterflies aren't the only beautiful ones. Well, I hope I convinced you that moths are marvellous, because I love them. <laughs> 